Hello everyone. Some of you have been asking how I made my thruster and in this video I'm just going to show you some of the parts that I've used, actually uh, all the parts that I've used to make the thruster, at least the ones that I could gather. Um, first I'm going to go through um, the type of uh, motor that I've used. Uh, some of you have asked uh, what kind of, how do I waterproof it, um, what kind of bearings I use, things like that. The motor actually comes just like this. Can you just show them uh, what it actually looks like? So this is the motor that I use for this project, which is the 5060, 200 kV. And I just wanted to show uh, some of the other smaller motors that you can also get, just so you can see you know, the co size comparison. This is the 2838, 350 kV. This one's the 3030, 220 kV, and this one is the 500, uh, 50, 60, uh, 200 kV. And these are the kind of motors that they are. You can tell, it, it tells you what kind of motor it is, um, what kind of bearings it has, things like that, the type in, in terms of quality. So I'm not gonna get too much into details of you know, the calculations, what 50, 60 means, what the KV means, things like that. You can research that on your own, or I can uh, post another video if, if enough people request it, you know, going through the calculations, um, how to select the proper motor for, for your project. Same thing goes for these propellers. This is a 78 millimeter prope uh, propeller, which I think has, um, has a pitch of uh, over 100, 100 uh, millimeters, over, um, 100 centi uh, 10 centimeters. This, this one is a slightly a lower pitch, but has more blades. This is the one that I use for my project. Uh, again, I'm not gonna go through uh, my thought process in this video as to why I selected these, uh, these propellers, but I'll, I will go in depth. If enough people request it, I'll go in depth as to what my thought process was um, when it comes to um, engineering this uh, thruster. Uh, so I would just like to show you how the internal components of these motors. So as you can see, I've actually made a uh, I've had a, a custom uh, shaft machined for this project, which which I rep uh, so I, I used it to replace the the existing shaft. Um, you can tell inside, you can see that the uh, the magnets are coated. The stator here is coated. It comes coated. The bearings are, are pretty heavy duty, so you don't necessarily need um, you don't necessarily need uh, thruster bearings. Uh, these ones are fine. And uh, if you want, if you would like to replace these with ceramic uh, bearings for using salt water, you can go ahead. You just gotta pop them out, and you gotta put new ones in. But I I wouldn't do it because if you run it in salt water, I think that if you just ran it in. Uh, some fresh water after, I think it'll be fine. Um, so moving on to the 3D printed parts. This is the cone. Actually, let's go back to the motor just to see how it fits. So put this right in. Bam. So this is the outrunner. This is an outrunner motor. And there's a collar that goes right here. This is the cone that goes right here. And it all goes inside this housing right here. But we just have to put the wire straight through this hole first. And then we mount it. The housing consists of three parts. First one is the, the cone, the nozzle on top. I'll just bring it in a little. Um, there's the uh, the rest of the housing right here, and then we have the the mount that the motor actually mounts on. You can see the four holes and the four holes right there. So when it goes in, you just mount it on the other side with some screws. Once it goes in, <clears throat> we put this. Propeller collar on, so it'll go on, it's a little rusty right now. And we put our, we tighten it down. Put 
put the propeller right on. And there's a nut that goes on top. Let's see, this is the way it spins. Just like that. So that's it. Uh, if you guys like for me to show you uh, the calculations and, the, and my thought process and uh, what, what it took to design this, uh, I'd, I'd be more than happy. Um, as for now, uh, I would just like to share this with you and uh, thank you very much. Thank you for watching.